Hello friends, welcome to Susan and John MapTube. In this video, we continue our discussion based on Laplace transform. But before we start, I want it to be very very good with all these standard forms. So in case you don't know the standard forms, please pause the video for a minute, copy all the formula in your book, I mean notebook and make it perfect and then continue with the video. So the first thing we are going to learn is we are going to learn how to find the Laplace of piecewise functions. So I hope you still remember the basic definition of Laplace transform. That means if you want to find the Laplace transform of a function in t then what you do is you just find the integral 0 to infinity e to the power minus st into f of t dt. Okay, with the help of this basic formula, we will be able to integrate or rather find the Laplace transform of piecewise function. Piecewise functions means a graph which will behave like more than one uniform function. For example, let's say a graph is behaving like sin x and suddenly it started behaving like a line. So this is an example of a piecewise function. So the definition will come in parts. Initially it behaved like sine, later on it behaved like uh, a line. So the domain will be given here from where to where it behaves like sine and from where to where it behaves like a line. And before this sign, uh, the value is zero. Like that, like that, it'll it'll come in parts, and we call them piecewise functions. So, are you ready with pen and paper? Okay, let's start the first question. Find the Laplace of the function f of t is equal to e to the power t zero less than t less than one, and zero t greater than one. What we do is, we write the basic definition. So Laplace of f of t is equal to integral 0 to infinity e power minus st into f of t dt. The second thing to do is, you take a look at the domain of the function. Domain means the input value. It is from 0 to 1 and then from 1 to infinity. So we split. Uh, it's from 0 to 1 and then you have from 1 to infinity and here we have the function value e to the power t and here we have the function value times 0 it's dt so this will vanish because this integral will be 0 now what we do is we integrate this e to the power what is a power m into a power n isn't it a to the power m plus n? Of course. So e to the power minus st into e to the power t will be e to the power minus st plus t. And that gives you e to the power minus of s minus 1 into t. Think about it for a moment. And I hope you are okay with that part. Okay, now the limits are from 0 to 1. If you want to be more specific, I always uh, ask my students to be more specific. You can put it like t equal to 0 to 1. Okay, now comes the next question. What is integral e to the power minus ax dx? Yeah, e to the power minus ax, the whole divided by minus a plus c. So this will be equal to e to the power minus of s minus 1 into t the whole divided by minus of s minus 1 within the limits t equal to 0 to 1. And now you plug in the upper limit and lower limit and we get e to the power minus of s minus 1 into 1 by minus of s minus 1 minus um, that will be e power 0 by minus of s minus 1. 
now i think you remember e power 0 is 1 so you can take things common etc etc and simplify you will get the answer e power minus s minus 1 minus 1 the whole divided by 1 minus s okay now let's try one more question it's a very basic problem but remember when we learn something we should always move in a curve I mean an increasing curve I've seen that many students love to start with very difficult problem okay good okay good there is nothing bad with it but remember if your basic things are not perfect and if you try this um, I don't think you'll be able to continue with it so remember basic problems are always equally important because once you understand the basic things you'll be able to do the difficult things very easily okay so let's go for the first uh, basic problem but before we start i had to discuss the linearity property which we proved in the last video suppose we have laplace of constant into function we can take this constant and then write laplace of the function and suppose we have laplace of f of t plus g of t that is laplace of a sum of two functions we can write this as laplace of f of t plus laplace of g of t so these are the linear properties linearity properties of the laplace function okay and the second thing you should be very 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 good with this table okay now write the next question evaluate laplace of 3 e to the power 5t plus 5 into cos t so what we do is we will split this into two so we get laplace of 3 e to the power 5t plus laplace of 5 into cos t and that will be equal to 3 times laplace of e to the power 5t plus 5 into laplace of cos t and now time to look at the formula so we have the formula right here so you can check the formula for e power a t so this will be 3 into 1 by s minus 5 plus 5 into 1 trick look at this uh, the formula for sine does not start with s and the formula for hyperbolic sine or shine does not start with this keep that in mind you will always remember these four formulae very easily so the answer will be s by because this is for cos s square plus 1 square because this is like 1 into t that's it now you can simplify and take calcium etc etc okay now write the next question find the laplace of sine square 2t okay now look at this laplace is basically integration and i'm sure that you have learned this problem or you have learned how to integrate this long back maybe in class 11 or maybe in first semester engineering anyway the method is we depend on the trigonometric identities anyway you can note these things sine square something I'm going to call the angle as something that will be 1 by 2 1 minus cos double that angle so what will be sine square something 1 by 2 1 minus cos double that thing and cos square something and that will be 1 by 2 1 plus cos double the angle okay now you can note these things these are very important okay now i'm going to manipulate this i have sine square something can you see that smiley here yeah so that will be equal to 1 by 2 1 minus cos double that yeah that will be 40 that's it that's it 
Now what happens is linearity property. We take this 1 by 2 outside and we end up with Laplace of 1 minus cos 4t. Again apply the linearity property but if you want in the exam you can write directly but still for presentation's sake it's better that you write this step. Okay now we need the formula list. I'll go back to the last page. Ah, one, the Laplace is 1 by s and cos 4t. Yeah. So the answer will be 1 by 2 1 by s minus s by s square plus 16. I hope you remember the trick. You can take LCM. You must take LCM and simplify for the exam. Uh, that is a homework for you. Okay. I hope you remember the Laplace of trigonometric function. I always remember like this. If it is sine, I always remember, ah, this won't start with this. And if it is cos, I will remember, okay, it starts with S. Okay, now let's move ahead. So, please write the next one. Find Laplace of cos cube 3t. Now, look at this. When you learned trigonometry or when you did integration, you might have learned how to manipulate cos cube. Okay, the method is very simple. You write the formula for cos 3 theta. The formula for cos 3 theta is 4 cos cube theta minus 3 cos theta. 4 cos cube theta will be equal to cos 3 theta plus 3 cos theta. I just kept it here and I took it to the other side. And that means cos cube theta will be 1 by 4 cos 3 theta plus 3 cos theta. Okay, that's it. Now, what we do is we plug in our angle. What is the angle here or the argument here? 3t. So, time to replace every theta with 3t. Now, I will write what is required in the question. So, cos cube 3t. So, what am I doing here? I am replacing theta with 3t is equal to 1 by 4 cos 9t because it will be 3 times 3t plus 3 cos 3t. Oh, that's it. That's it. Now, and remember in the exam, you must show this. Um, even you can write in the right in as the main step, but please put it in a box. Okay, so this will be Laplace of, what is cos cube 3t? Yeah, 1 by 4 and we have cos 9t plus 3 cos 3t. So, let's take this 1 by 4 outside and if you want, you can write Laplace of Laplace of in the exam. Um, and the answer will be C will start with S. So, S by S square plus 81 plus 3 into s by s square plus 9. Okay, so you can take LCM, simplify, etc, etc. And the next question is, yeah, it's a small one, but it's a little bit cunning. What is Laplace of sin a t plus b, where a and b are constants? Okay. What we do is we write the formula sin a plus b. That is sin a cos b plus cos a sin b. But here a is a t and b is b. Now look at this. This will be Laplace of cos b into sin a t plus Laplace of sin b into sin, sorry, cos a t. Now, this is a constant. B is a constant. So, cos B is going to be a constant. B is a constant. So, sin is a constant. So, these two comes outside. So, we get cos B and Laplace of sin A T plus sin B Laplace of cos A T. 
and that's it that will be cos b now just apply the formula sine means it will not start with this so the formula is a by wow very easy plus sine b c that means s by that's it so that is a small video so i'm going to wind up this video right now and i'll be back with more problems and in the next video we will be doing a little bit more important problems than this so we will meet very soon and as always if you like the video please do share and subscribe so we'll be back soon till then bye